So now let's add the eyes. So we're going to start our eyes by putting a sketch on the front surface and looking at it. Now, our eyes are actually going to be concave. They're going to be like a dish. So I'm going to draw half of eye, and then we'll revolve that to cut the eye out. Because there's several different ways. I'm going to do it by starting with a vertical line. Hit escape to finish that tool. I'm then going to go to the three-point arc. I'm going to select the top of my eye, the bottom of my eye, and then drag out. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And the first thing I need to know is this point here needs to be on this line. So I'm going to use the coincidence constraint. Again, that's going to be hiding over here on this bar toolbar, this toolbar here. Mine is in the menu because of my screen. So I'm going to click coincident. I'm going to select the center point of the circle or the arc and the line. That's going to make it exactly a half circle. Now we need to size and position it. So I go look at my thing. These eyes are eh, I split about 0.25. So we'll start with that. So I'm going to mention this line to be 0.25. And the center, the bottom of the side is about halfway up. So I'm going to do dimension from this point here to this point here and go straight out to be 0.125, which is half of 0.25. And then finally, this one's a little more complicated. I have to do the center of this line. The center line is about three quarters of the way. So I'm going to dimension from here to here. I'm going to go dimension from here to here. And this is going to be 0.25 times 3 quarters. So 3 slash 4, or I can do 0.75, and I'll do the math for me. Everything's black, so it looks good. It might be a little big, or I might want to change the position of the eye. I can do that later. This is just based on what I guessed from my drawing. It's just a good starting point. So I'm going to go to the isometric view. I'm going to zoom way in. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm then going to revolve. Now, most importantly, is I want to make sure the type of oh, the revolve here, we want to select what face. So I'm going to click on that feature. And I need an axis. So I'm going to, it's red. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to pick this line here. And we want this to be a remove. So we have a dish. If we want bug eyes, we do add. But I want dish dies. So we're going to do remove and hit checkbox. Now we need to put a second line. We could go and sketch everything up again, dimension it, and revolve it. But Actually, the eyes are always going to be the same. And if I want to change one eye, I'd rather not have to change both of them. So we're going to just mirror this across the right axis, this right plane right here. So if I select this ob this feature and mirror it across the right plane, it's going to put an eye on the second, the other side of his face. So we're going to go to mirror. We want to make sure instead of being part mirror, we're under feature mirror. And first, let's know what feature mirror. So I'm going to select the feature, which is at revolution one. And wants to know what mirror plane. And I want the right mirror plane. And now I have two eyes. Now, if I look at those, those eyes look a little big. I'm going to jump back into the mirror here. Uh, clicks. I need to jump into sketch three that makes up the mirror. And let's make this 0.2. Hit check. And, they have to, and that looks much better. And sometimes my drawings isn't perfect, but the idea is to give myself a starting point for each piece. So in the next video, we'll do the mouth.